Hey all, here at OS Reviews, you're watching our video first look and a quick review of the Venkil Wi-Fi Endoscope, also known as an inspection camera. So endoscopes have this snake-like design and it's a tube with a small camera at the end, so it helps you see into places that you wouldn't be able to see with your naked eye. So for instance, down uh, drains, uh, for repairing things, and just for, I guess, uh, using as a secondary camera for examining smaller macro objects. Um, the pricing is actually fairly fairly affordable for something that I thought was kind of cool. It sells for 30 bucks on Amazon. It comes in a few different colors. There, you can also get it in a slightly more expensive version that has a longer coil so that it stretches longer, it goes down maybe a longer drain if you're repairing something. The biggest part that is uh, new is the Wi-Fi. That means it comes with a companion app for iOS or Android and the camera is just connected to the Wi-Fi of your device so it uh, allows you to move around more freely, maybe just leave the camera in one spot and then take a look at the images or videos that you're capturing somewhere else, which is very interesting. It has a semi-rigid uh, cable design. It's also waterproof, IP68 certified. It's 11.5 feet long in this particular version and has a uh, 1200p resolution, so it goes beyond 1080p, has an interesting uh, native kind of res uh, set up there. It comes with this carrying case in the packaging, and inside we have a few contents. Uh, how it actually works is you attach this proprietary charging bank, it uses USB, you can charge it using micro USB. It's shaped just like many other power banks on the market, but I believe the Wi-Fi module is also located in here. You can see it's backlit, it says Wi-Fi Venkel HD 1280p uh, res and there's also the Wi-Fi name and password located at the bottom so you need to keep this if you want to sign into the mobile app and then tapping on it once turns off the backlight. Over here we have just the inspection camera itself which is completely yellow just to I guess uh, distinguish it apart if you are using it uh, in a darker environment or maybe in basements. Here is the USB cable. Here we have an adjustment for the brightness of the lens. It comes with an LED light at the tip and then this is just the lens. You can see it's quite small. It's made out of aluminum and it also has a uh, again a light towards the end as well. Setting this off to the side, we also have access to the instruction manual that documents how to set it up and how to download the app. There is a QR code located at the uh, other side, which you can scan in order to uh, download it, or you can search it up in the store directly. Here we have also a few accessories. There are a few different adapters for the lens and also replacement caps. So in case you lose something or if you want to kind of twist the lens or make it look into a different position, you can see some mirrors and different optics. So there's quite a few accessories that it includes to play around with it. It also hooks onto objects if you want to. And finally, there is a micro USB cable for charging the Wi-Fi power bank. Afterwards, you can uh, view back content up to 70 minutes in 480p, 60 minutes in 720p, and 40 minutes in the 1200p. So it can last up to about an hour and a half uh, connected to Wi-Fi on the power bank. Connecting to Wi-Fi is pretty simple. Open up settings on your phone and then find the router that's called YPC and the password that you enter is 12345678. So you tap to connect to its Wi-Fi network and afterwards you open up the app which is again called HDC. So if we open this up, it just says 1200p uh, wireless endoscope and from here we can see that it's giving us a live feed of what's happening at least what the camera is seeing. Um, some other adjustments using the uh, kind of remote on the endoscope itself you can see I can change the brightness of the light so that it gets brighter or dimmer and that corresponds to the uh, you know, visibility of the viewfinder, of course, if you're in a re really low-lit environment, so you can adjust this pretty easily. And again, this is what the lens looks like with the uh, LEDs fully illuminated. All right, so taking a look at the app next. So it's a pretty simple um, app interface. We can just see an image of uh, what the camera is looking at. And on the side, we can take an image. Uh, we can also record a video. So it begins recording at 720p by default. Tapping on the media key, we can see all our recorded images and pictures sorted by these categories. And uh, you can see that I can scroll between these images fairly quickly. Uh, they are actually stored on my phone. So what's interesting about this particular camera setup is there is no micro SD 
card that stores the images and files locally. Everything is passed through to the phone using Wi-Fi. And for that, uh, the overall transmission process, the speed is actually still quite smooth and responsive. Um, this is actually a feature that you don't even see that often on security cameras. A lot of times security cameras will, will require you to store it on a local card, which is fine, but I find it a little bit harder to uh, you know, play back recorded videos and photos if you don't have a cloud-enabled model. On here, they actually give you this feature, so I think it's a plus. From here, we can see that the image quality really isn't bad. It's really meant for, for micro shots, things that are up close. It's a fixed focus camera, but it's designed to really get close to objects, of course. You can see it struggles with uh, strange lighting environments like the logo that was backlit on the power bank. But from here, I can also share the uh, file that I recorded using so social media or sending it as an attachment. So it gives you quite a few options there. The video is playing back and you can see I'm adjusting the lighting as well as I'm moving the camera. The video file itself is in .mov format and this is, uh, you can see actually the image quality really isn't bad. It's in complete darkness because I've put it underneath a crack uh, into a closet and underneath the closet there's a small sofa. So it's looking underneath the sofa and seeing these objects. You can see that text remains legible if it's at least roughly uh, two or three centimeters away and you can see it's just carpet underneath on the floor. The reflection is just caused by the LEDs on the light itself. It's actually pretty fun because you can almost explore things in a different way, much closer to the, to the ground. And if you find a crack, if you find something, you can go into it uh, and kind of navigate it like a maze, just because, again, the uh, length of this endoscope is long enough for that. Uh, uh, again, the cable length is pretty good in my testing so far. So it actually works quite well as far as video playback. Um, it doesn't work quite as well if you're trying to point it at objects which are further away. So for stationary objects, if you try, are if you're trying to use this as a security camera, um, as some type of a DIY project for uh, tinkering, or even to capture people or objects, it doesn't work quite as well because it's going to be blurry and out of focus. But for things that are up close, what's, which, is it, which is what it's designed to do, it actually works quite well. And the LED lights are very effective in my testing, even in complete darkness. And now going back to some of the accessories, there are a few screw-on lenses for the camera. The first one is actually a mirror, so it casts a different angle. So from here you can see my finger is on this desk, but it uh, comes into view on the camera here. And so it's using optics to give you an easier view depending on what type of pipe or environment you're putting the camera in. So it's not just pointing outwards, but pointing at an upwards angle. So this could be actually quite convenient. You can see this is what it looks like. Uh, I can screw this off pretty easily. It just uh, detaches like this, and uh, this is what it looks like with the mirror on the other side. The other one that I kind of liked and thought was the most useful was this mount, which also features a magnet. It actually is very strong and allows the camera to more or less stay in place onto a magnetic surface. So if you have some type of a pole, lamp, uh, or stationary object, it can actually attach to it. That's more or less it for our hands-on review of the Wi-Fi Indiscope camera. I think this is a useful gadget to have around the house because if you want to repair something and you often will struggle with trying to see it because it's either too high or if it's uh, in a drain and a pipe, it's uh, you know too small to look into, this actually does a great job. The fact that it's Wi-Fi enabled is also much more convenient than on a traditional model which requires you to plug it into a computer at all times, which can be restri restrictive, especially if you're looking at pipes or uh, cracks, things like that, which uh, require uh, a longer cable length or you know it's not too convenient to always be in the basement you can just leave this there and you can still see the live feed on the app the app itself is stable the Wi-Fi connection seems quite good and I'm overall satisfied with the battery performance of roughly one hour um, the entire thing works quite well the light is easy to adjust minor com complaints that I have would be that uh, the lighting itself can't be adjusted using the app so you have to use the scroll dial on the uh, remote that they give you I would have wished that they can give you some additional adjustments on the app, maybe in a future generation model. Uh, one other potential downside is, like most endoscopes, uh, it's a little hard to tell which direction is up and which direction is down. So once you start kind of twisting it and putting it through something, the video feed might seem backwards. But then again, you can just flip your phone over. But uh, it's not always clear uh, when you first boot it up, you know, what direction is, is up because there's no real indicator on this tube. Um, but other than that, again, it works quite well. Resolution is actually surprisingly good for something of this cost and you know designed for this purpose so you can check out more details about this in our official written review but for now this has been our video thanks for watching here at os reviews this has been the vinkill wi-fi endoscope inspection camera